I am your I am your own oh or today you will come Jesus I am your I am your I am your own oh or today you will come Jesus I am your Brothers and sisters, this is the time again. The Lord is calling you. The Lord wants your soul. The Lord wants you by his side. If only you can hear the voice of the Lord. If only you can see the shadow of the Almighty God. If only you can feel the presence of the Almighty God. The God that created the heaven and hell. This is the time. The God wants your soul. The God wants you by his side. Because he don't want you to be destroyed. Because he don't want you so that the enemy will use you for breakfast or for dinner or for lunch. Today, God is calling you again. God is calling someone again. If only you can feel this moment, God shall set you free. God will rescue you from that pain. God will protect you from that situation. In any way, in anything that you lay hand upon, it shall be prosper. But if only you believe, if only you submit yourself before the Almighty God, today God is calling you someone. Brothers and sisters, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not be do not be stubborn. Do not be stubborn because the enemy is out there like the ugly lion looking for someone to divorce, looking for someone to eat, looking for someone to use to extend their downfall, their failure. But I pray for you today, you will not be a subject to the enemy. You will not be a subject to the enemy. You will not be a subject to the kingdom of the darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Submit yourself before the Lord. According to James 4 verse 7, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I please the mark of the Lord upon everyone tonight. When the devil see you, they shall run. They shall run from you. When the devil hear the voice of the Lord, because you resemble God, you belong to God. Today and from this moment, the Egyptian you see yesterday, you shall never see them any longer. If only you ascend, if only you bring yourself humble, God will set you free. He will deliver you. Brothers and sisters, the world is going. The thing that we are hearing in the world, the thing that we are seeing in the world, is the thing that the sign that you need to know that the world is going. The devil is, is working 24 hours of the day looking for who to divorce, looking for who to destroy. But I pray by the mantle of the God who created the heaven ahead, you will never be a victim. You will never be a subject to the kingdom of failure, to the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring yourself to him. He will accept you no matter the character that you have, no matter the things that you think, that you believe, that you have. Run to God. He will say, accept you because the Son of God has come to collect the key of freedom, collect the key of freedom, of liberty, of unity. If only you can accept him as your personal savior, as your personal other savior, your problem will be solved. Your breakthrough will be open. The door that the enemy have shut in your life will be open. Today is an opportunity for you to accept Christ again because he said, submit yourself to me and flee from the devil and submit yourself to me. When the devil see the mark of God in your life, they shall bow down because he is the name that is above every other name. He is the king that is above every other king. When any man on this head hear that name called God, hear that name son of God, they shall bow down and they shall be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Run not to him. Oh, hear that labor with heavenly ladder. God shall give you rest. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Every other thing shall be added unto him. Because when God said, according to John, in my father's house there are many mansions. Today, run unto God. He will accept you the way you are. No matter the sin that you have committed, it's a merciful father. Give yourself to him. This is just the mercy, brothers and sisters. Do not allow the things of the world that you see out there to discourage you or to take you away. God is still waiting for you to accept you, no matter the clothes that you put on, no matter the dirty character that you have, no matter the sin that you have. 
all things shall pass away. And from this moment, as you run unto him, you shall be a new creator. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I pray that this message that you heard today be a part of your life so that you will turn back from the world, from the darkness, and honor to God. As you do that, your breakthrough shall be open unto you by the God who created heaven and earth. God bless you, brothers and sisters. So shall it be. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will leave you out from here. Peace. I live with you.